Roger and on this video we're going to take a look at some of the panels on the first video I did for the TV quick actions I showed you how to map um, a one of your buttons on your remote uh, to open up three different applications depending on if you single clicked it double clicked it or long held it I'm gonna show you how to set up panels and this is a really neat thing because you're gonna be able to create like a little shortcut and I really like this I actually have this on my setup so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and open up TV Quick Actions Pro. And again, this is a paid app. Um, and I think it's uh, 3 to 5 $6, something like that. But for me, I really enjoy it. So we're going to go here and we're going to create. We have to create a panel. Now, prior, we did like the buttons, but we're going to wait on that. We're going to create some of the menus first. So I'm going to go over here and do create a panel. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this I'm gonna call it single click to kind of make it easy for me to uh, you know to keep them straight. So I'm just gonna say single. Okay. Let's just call it single. Uh, we're going to leave that as it is. Yeah, uh, you do have to create an icon, and I'm not sure why but there, there's a whole library of, of, of icons now what it's wanting to do is what is our action now we're gonna have the option of five at five functions is what's that menu so it'll be the up left okay which would be your enter button down or to the right that we're able to set up and choose a function for each one of those things so um, again the, I, when I set these applications for what they were going to be, they, you can set them up to anything. I'm just going to grab some, just make it simple. So Apple TV is going to be up. I'm going to do CBC. It's going to be that. I'll leave the OK button alone. Down. Grave. To the right. Downloader. Okay, and so those will be my buttons for a single click. And again, I could add five. I only choose chose four. The enter the center button. I didn't choose anything for that. So what I'm gonna do is back up. So now we have it for single. I'm gonna create one for double. Again, just change the. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. This is just for your own personal. Uh, way of knowing what uh, what the thing is. So I'm say double. Hit the OK. Action. And I'm sure that the icon stuff has something to do somewhere else in the menus, but with 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 the way I pull it up, it I don't see an icon. Um, I'm still kind of new to this application, so. Uh, discovery Paramount and you can set this up any way you want uh, each of these three different menus you can set them up for certain things so one one uh, menu could be for your tool type tools so your explorer your downloader a vpn um, those kind of things can be one menu your other another a single or the double click could could open up the menu for uh, some of your media players to open up and i'll show you i'm gonna, we're going to actually i'm going to add to okay on this so let's hit prime video okay so on this one discovery is up uh, paramount is left uh, Amazon Prime is the OK button. Down is Google, uh, is Google Play Games, and Google Play Movies is to the right. Now I'm just going to back up, and let's go ahead and set these up. So we're going to go over here to the buttons place where we added before um, on the first video. So I'm going to hit Enter. Now it's wanting to know what button I want to do. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and just hit my Paramount button. Um, if you're on NVIDIA Shield, you can put this to your Netflix button and have all of it. So I just hit the in Paramount button on the on box is button 10. 
And what I'm going to do is change this to usual actions. So this is now I'm going to be able to pick the panels. So I'm going to hit the single press and go up here to the panels that I created. I created the single. So we have that. I go to the double over here to the panel. That. Now it's it's set. Now I can go through and change some other settings. I'm not going to do anything with long press right now. Uh, you can disable the button by just toggle that off if you're not wanting to use it. And let's go ahead and back up and let's see if it works. So we did this on the Paramount button. So I'm going to hit it one time. And there you see the little menu has popped up over there and I can choose any of those applications is if I click it push to any one of those directions the uh, application will launch if I want that to go away I hit back so this is a great feature that I use on my Nvidia shield for the for the Netflix button because if I accidentally hit the Netflix button it opens up that menu and now it doesn't stop my content whatever I'm watching or whatever application is running it doesn't stop it that continues to play and that little menu is an overlay I can hit back and it's gone so it just makes it so much easier nothing nothing stops me from using what I'm using or stops me from playing a movie or TV show double click now then this is where you can see it gave me five options that we chose again if I click on any of those directions that's what's going to launch so for me I have uh, one click is for, for myself it's like my media players uh, when I open that if I double click it it would be like some of my tools and uh, the third the long hold is like my VPNs or any of those type of services and it makes it easy that I can open I if I'm running something I can open up that tools thing start whatever I'm wanting to run if it's a VPN and then go right back into the application or the, the content I was watching and again hit back gone so this makes it just as easy as you can use it and I, I'm using on the video here I'm doing an on box but this can be it's set up on my shield uh, on my Netflix button so hopefully that makes sense to you guys and you're able to check this application out and uh, you know let me know what you think of it uh, if you find it useful to find this application useful for you um, I have found it to be a godsend on my shield uh, to just make things run a little bit smoother when I'm navigating. I don't have to keep going to uh, my applications line and open stuff. I can open right up from my remote, click, and ready to go. So thanks for you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next one.